What's up, guys? So last week, a few of our incredible fans asked us for a tour of our entire showroom. And you know what? Looking around, I actually felt like we had such a unique mix of cars. Um, currently in Miami, we have probably five or six cars, actually more, eight cars that aren't here with us in Miami yet. But wanted to give you guys a little tour of a few cars that came in, a few cars that have sold, but some really, really great pieces that really sort of define what we do and who we are. Uh, behind us, this is not another uh, car that we've serviced or anything like that. This is fresh off the boat, fresh from Europe. Uh, I believe this car is 2,300 kilometers. This is a one owner XJ220 in blue. It just arrived. Very, very complete car. You know, you don't always see these cars with things like the original keychain or books or things like that. This car has everything. Now, as you guys know, we love these cars. I think this would be number 11 or 12. Um, this car has a pending deal on it right now. Hopefully, um, we'll get to see it around uh, for a little bit longer. We will have to complete a service, uh, but very, very cool cars. And you guys know we love these. Now, next to the XJ220, this is, I mean, probably one of the coolest cars we've ever had in our showroom. Not just any Countach Periscopio, which is already extremely rare, less than 150 uh, survived today in the world and were produced in period, but this is essentially Countach number four, probably the first car that was ever delivered to a dealer when new. If you notice, it's the exact same color as the original Prototipo Countach, uh, the famous car that sits in the museum today. Original interior, 14,000 kilometers. Uh, we're in the process of sourcing an original shift knob for this car, um, but it just really doesn't get much better than this. This car is art. This sort of, uh, I would say, these early cars inspired uh, Countach, Diablo, all the later supercars, and what a stunning color, Verde Medio. Wow, <laughs> museum piece, Countach. We already showed you guys the pace car last week. Very, very cool. As you guys know, I'm in love with this car and there's a few details that we're still finishing on this. Oh, talk about the guy who found the light. Ah, yes, so a reward will be paid. Uh, we have a great follower that found the light. I believe he, he found the company that produces the light. Uh, so congratulations, thank you. Um, we're gonna have a new light produced. We also discovered, um, and again, a huge thank you to another one of our fans and followers, that the original Yoda kit still exists. It's not complete, uh, but we found out where it is. Uh, it was actually never sent back to the factory, um, so some pieces of it remain. Unfortunately, I don't think we will reinstall it on the car. Um, it'll come with the car, um, but another uh, a sort of, I would say, another layer to the story of this car. It does not get uh, more interesting in the history as we go on through this car. Another incredible Countach behind us. 3,000 original miles. It was basically with its second owner for many, many years. If you guys have ever seen the photo of the Countach in Fort Lauderdale, black Countach with like rockers and a girl in a bikini, this is the actual car. So it was an original downdraft European spec. Um, in the late 80s, it was basically sold uh, with that owner for many, many years, and we just imported the car back to the US. Incredible, incredible preservation car. We're doing a ton of work, and we'll be showing that sometime next year, because you don't find Countach downdrafts with low miles like that. What do I talk about next? Uh, Mura or Carrera GT? I guess we'll talk about Carrera GT, uh, one of eight um, guards red on Ascot cars that came to North America. We recently sold this car. And I don't know if you guys saw, uh, we also had a very stunning black terracotta car that we just sold. We've loved these cars since they were somewhat affordable. Um, now these have gone into a different stratosphere, trading anywhere between a million dollars, $1.2 million, but love this car. And behind the Carrera GT, very special Mira SV. This is, I mean, one of the more special Mira SVs that we've ever had. Oddly enough, um, somehow we keep <laughs> buying red Mira SVs. I believe this is number seven uh, that we've owned. We had the first car that we've ever had, et cetera, et cetera. We had another Claudio Zampoli car. Uh, we had the preservation car. We recently had a US car that we did a photo shoot with all the cars with. This just arrived. 
um, stunning original Rosso Mira SV. And what was very, very interesting about this car for many years, um, it was believed to have unique factory features and then it was restored back to basically what an original Mira SV would have been. But uh, upon further, I would say, uh, history evolving uh, in many times with collector cars, it was documented and produced original photos before the car was delivered while it was at a show in Italy. Um, it actually had unique grills uh, that we will reinstall and it actually had a factory fuel filler like an SVJ. So unique features, um, not many SVs had unique features like that, um, but this is a very nice older restoration. Uh, there are some notes, um, some people have talked about it being one of two cars with chrome bumpers. Those photos from 1971 don't show the chrome bumpers, but there's actually some notes in the factory records before delivery that talk about bright work. So we're gonna continue to do research on this car and we're gonna write up a big story of this car, but very, very special Mura SV. Uh, you don't always find cars like this and it was really, really cool to find this car. Um, next behind us, uh, we had this, uh, we recently sold this black, black Diablo 6.0. A, almost basically a one owner car. The gentleman that had it, uh, bought it in 2002, 4,000 original miles, and to find a black, black 6.0 is very rare. Uh, very cool interior too, if you look, everything's black. No piping, no stitching. So very rare spec with an original factory carbon wing. Love this car, it's going to a very good home. And then, something you never see, super funky, super weird, one of five. Lamborghini Countach examples produced for the US, um, basically in Jalo. So very, very rare color. Uh, there were two cars built yellow on brown, which I think was Testo, Teste di Moro. Um, one car produced in yellow on Bianco, and then two more cars produced on yellow and black. Very rare color. Most Countaches were produced in Rosso, uh, followed by black, followed by white. So to see a Countach that's non-red, white, or black is super, super rare. Uh, There's a one-owner car, I believe, for many years. I think it's two owners technically, lower miles, but needs a lot of love. Um, we're going to have to do everything on this car. Uh, cosmetically, it's not bad, but mechanically, it needs everything but it is very, very cool to find. Um, I think it's 10,000 miles, but to find one like that. Behind me, a beautiful, uh, one of the 26 Diablo SE30s produced for the US. Red with tan, um, this was, I believe, one of 11 red cars produced for the US. Uh, they came in red with black, red with cream, and red with tan. This car is probably one of the highest mileage uh, Diablo SE30s we have ever owned, but, but it's probably one of the nicest conditions. I mean, if you look at the condition of this car, it's spectacular. It still smells new, um, and it just goes to the level of preservation. You don't always see this with these cars. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of SE30s. This is essentially Lamborghini's F40, and so cool, so rare. These cars had magnesium wheels, uh, you know, the roll-up windows. I could go on and on and on about how much I love these cars. Next to me, um, Diablo Roadster, one of one color for the US, Grigio Scuro. It's like this stunning gray that has hints of purple in the lighting, it turns a little purple. Uh, factory chrome wheels, and I believe it's 1,800 original miles, so 20, 2,900 original kilometers, so about 1,800 miles. A incredible car, we just sold this to a father and son uh, out of uh, the West Coast, really passionate collectors that fell in love with this car. Uh, this is definitely uh, not easy to find low mileage Diablo Roadsters, and then not easy to find a one-off color for the US like this. I believe there was one or two more made in Europe in this color, uh, but very rare. 512TR that we recently sold to a client. Uh, this, I believe, will be going up for auction. Uh, a RC63 AMG Black Series. As you guys know, we love pre-merger AMG cars, uh, but we also love interesting AMG Black Series cars as well. Um, this car is so, so rare. One of 75 for the US for the C63 Black Series. Uh, this car is actually a unique spec because it's a track pack with no rear wing, so no aero pack. Um, it's got the small rear wing, so very rare. And one of 16 in pearl white. 
So really, really cool car, 11,000 miles. Recently, one of these just did very, very well on Bring a Trailer. So this car will be going to Bring a Trailer very soon. Uh, I'm gonna miss this, I'm not gonna lie. I have been driving it and it's just too good. Um, but not in my, uh, not, not in my, my, my collection today. Another beautiful Countach, black, black, and it's sort of cool to see the white, white, and black, black sort of face off. Um, this is a car that we sold a few months ago, one owner, two owners, 6,000 miles, really, really nice car. And a 7,000 mile car that we got out of Canada, a US Canadian spec car that was just always really loved. You could really see it came with a stack of service records, so we don't really have to do much to this car um, at all. As you can see behind us, our famous Giallo Perlato 900 mile one owner SV. Uh, this, uh, what else can I say? This was sold a while ago, but will remain with us uh, here in Miami for some quite some time. Just a stunning, stunning car. And we will go over to a very, very important card to me. This is a Arancio Diablo 6.0 that we've actually owned. We've sold it twice before. Um, so this would be the third time we've sold this car. Uh, 9,000 miles, original paint, really, really nice car and it drives excellent. I sort of love, I love Diablo 6.0s with the wing, but I also love them without. They just look so, so clean. Um, and this is, I think one of, 10 cars in this color uh, with this sort of miles. This is a very rare color. And um, again, we love Diablo 6.0s. Really, really beautiful car. This car will be available for sale very soon on our website. Albert's gonna need to take photos first, but it will be available soon. And then the 288 GTO that we, we took a drive on, I believe this car has a pending sale. Um, it's gonna be sad to see this car go because it just looks so good in the showroom and uh, from our last video, taking this for a drive, really, really enjoyed my time behind the wheel. Um, as I said, this is in many ways the holy grail for Ferrari supercars. Um, and behind us here, and uh, this is sort of like our back room of while we're moving things around, 512TR, one owner, black, black, 5,000 miles, pending sale on that car. 350GT here for a few little touch-ups, a few little fixes. Uh, and certification work. Uh, as you can see, the transformer cars behind us, Barricade, Bumblebee, and uh, I think this is locked down, the Aventador. And as of today, there's a pending sale on the Aventador, which is super exciting. Um, we got a ton of interest on all the Transformers cars. I think they will all sell probably in the next week or so, um, which is very exciting for the next owners, next caretakers. You guys know what this car is. Uh, I don't have to tell you much about that. Um, 348 Challenge and we actually have two of these cars right now. Uh, one is on the way. It's a pearl white car, but this is an SL65 AMG Black Series. These are absolutely incredible. V12 twin turbo, one of 175 for the US and these cars are on fire right now. Uh, recently, another example with around 10,000 miles just traded on Bring a Trailer. Um, these are full carbon fiber bodies. You can see this roof does not retract. Uh, carbon fiber, uh, functional wing, uh, just is so cool, so much torque. Um, I believe that with a Rentec kit package, uh, these cars have almost 800 pounds feet of torque. So complete monsters, they weigh nothing. So, so cool. Our LP400S, this is a stunning Rosso on white car, 1981, uh, with gold wheels, and I'm just absolutely in love with this car. Uh, DB4 GT, Aston Martin as well uh, in the back, and let's give you guys a quick inside look inside the shop. So, a complete project, Kuntash, that just arrived. Um, this is not running, there's parts inside the interior. Uh, this is a massive undertaking uh, that we will be uh, jumping into very soon. I believe it's an 87 triple white car. Um, we, you know, this will be a big feature on the channel. So big, big project behind us. The Monaco Pace car, uh, as you guys know, this is the car we brought to Amelia Island. Uh, we won, uh, I think in our class, uh, runner up in class, 
doesn't get better than this. It was on the Countach Rally, low mileage, preservation car. We are prepping this car because this car is going to do the show circuit next year in Europe. Um, very excited for the owner. He's a, a very, very passionate guy and has allowed us to show the car, use it, and represent him. Uh, our low body LP400S project car. Um, almost done with this car. Uh, bunch of updates that we'll give you guys very soon. We're just gonna start getting it running. Uh, we had a few little issues with some old fuel lines, um, some sediment in the fuel, but she will be on the road very soon. Our crazy, and we've talked about this before, LP400S low body that was originally brought into the US with this crazy front wing, uh, Jazz Rawala and Trevor Thomas, so originally Lamborghini North America. Uh, this was one of the first cars, basically the sister to the Cannonball Run car, uh, to basically certify Countach's for the U.S. market. Again, another project. We sold this car recently, and we'll be going through that car completely. Uh, F50001, uh, back here for a few little tweaks. Uh, Dennis has been using and enjoying her greatly. Um, also brought that to Amelia Island. Now, we don't service 911s, we don't really sell 911s, but Alex Roy, um, a famous uh, automotive icon, this is his, I believe, his father's personal 911. We're helping him take care of it. Um, he's been using it around Miami, so that is the only reason this 911 is here. Um, we normally use our, our friends at Champion, or we normally use our friends at Parkhouse One for this stuff, but Alex is family. Behind us, two more Countaches engine out on a low mileage Countach 5000 QV. Another Countach that we're doing a service on. Bunch of little different things, the AC system going through that. Uh, but that has been a massive project. And behind us, LMO 02, another Jaguar XJ220 with the engine out. Yellow Enzo, very rare. And we are on the final stages of our Diablo hot rod project. So very excited for that. Awesome. Well, thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. We have a ton more vintage supercar content coming. And next week, we have a very special drive coming your way. Thank you guys again. We'll see you soon.